My name is Kirk Willard, and I am the Director of Career Technical and Customized Education at the Chester County Intermediate Unit. As Director of our three Chester County Technical College High Schools, it is my pleasure to welcome all of you to this historic event. Thank you very much for coming. This evening offers us an opportunity to come together to hear the story of career and technical education in Chester County over the last 50 years and to acknowledge those groups and individuals who have played an important role in its success. I would like to begin by introducing Dr. George Fiore, the Executive Director of the Chester County Intermediate Unit, who will be sharing with us the history of CTE in Chester County over the last 50 years. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Fiore. Hello everyone, and welcome. I am George Fury, the Executive Director of the Chester County Intermediate Unit, and I'm very proud to welcome everyone to the 50th anniversary celebration of career and technical education in Chester County. During my career, I've had the good fortune to take part in many, many great educational moments, and this evening is sure to be the top of that list. After all, the planning of tonight began over 50 years ago in 1967. At that time, Chester County School Directors acknowledged that for the county to prosper, a countywide system of vocational education needed to be established to sustain the growing economy. And here we are 50 years later doing the same thing. From there, two vocational technical schools were constructed, one located in Coatesville and the other in Phoenixville. Then at the start of the new millennium, after much study and great debate, the county school directors determined that a third technical high school was needed to serve students residing in southern Chester County. With that also came the realization that it was no longer the Chester County of the 1960s. We had entered the 21st century and the previous model was no longer sufficient to meet the changing demands of our fast-paced community and economy. It became apparent that a new model for career and technical education would be crucial for our continued prosperity, something that would prepare students for lifelong learning, careers in high priority occupations, and post-secondary education. So in 2008, under the leadership of Dr. Joseph O'Brien, the Chester County Technical College High School Pennox Bridge Campus in West Grove became Pennsylvania's first hybrid career and te technical high school community college in the Commonwealth. The new facility was a tremendous success. So when it came to renovate the nearly 50-year-old Center for Arts and Technology Brandywine campus in Coatesville, it made sense to not merely renovate the space, but to replicate the success of the Technical College High School Pennix Bridge campus and provide central Chester County students with the same educational benefits as their counterparts in southern Chester County. This was achieved with the construction and subsequent relocation of the Brandywine campus from Coatesville to Downingtown. Immediately upon the Brandywine campus relocation, plans began for renovating the Technical College High School Pickering campus where we celebrate this evening. After undergoing significant renovations, the Pickering project was completed in 2017. Times have certainly changed and we've made great strides over the last 50 years. In 1969, the total county enrollment for career and technical education in Chester County was 1,178 students. 50 years later, in 2019, the total enrollment for career and technical education in Chester County has nearly doubled to 2,254 students. I think that's worthy of a round of applause. This growth clearly reflects the importance and popularity of career and technical education over the last 50 years. And we are so fortunate to have three incredible state-of-the-art campuses to reflect that mission. I received in the mail last week um, a letter of recognition from Governor Tom Wolf. And he asked me to read this on behalf of his office in recognition of tonight's ceremony. It says, greetings, it is my pleasure to join with Chester County Intermediate Unit to recognize their 50 years of educational service to Chester County. Pennsylvania is shaped and strengthened by the character and leadership of its citizens. However, the Commonwealth cannot succeed when opportunities do not exist for all people. 
the Chester County Intermediate Unit is committed to the education, safety, and welfare of Chester County students. Through, through education, advocacy, and a variety of service, this educational institution has prepared each student to be successful in all of his or her future endeavors. It is with great understanding, leadership, and passion that this educational institution continues to make a positive impact on our Commonwealth. I am confident that this organization will continue to inspire others for many years to come. As governor, and on behalf of the, all the citizens of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, I'm honored to recognize 50 years of technical college education in Chester County. Please accept my best wishes for continu continued success, Governor Tom Wolf. Pretty awesome. So before I go, you, you think about what uh, college and uh, our technical college schools do. We prepare kids for a future. And I would ask everyone here with this question, what do you want to be when you grow up? Some of us haven't figured it out yet, right? But we have a lot of young people that are figuring out. The answer to this age old question is far more complex than ever. But as evidenced by the attendees here tonight, Chester County schools, employers, students, parents and community leaders are tackling this challenge together for the benefit of our students' futures and the economic future of our great county. Thank you again for joining us this evening, and I look forward to tonight's celebration and to the continued evolution and success of career and technical education in Chester County. Thank you and enjoy your evening. Thank you, Dr. Fiore. Career and technical education would not be possible in Chester County without the leadership and support of our CCIU Board of Directors and the boards of our 12 member school districts. At this time, I would like to introduce the president of the CCIU Board of Directors, Bonnie Wolf, to share with us how our CCIU Board of Directors in, in, in partnership with our school district boards expanded career and technical education to serve all students throughout Chester County. Please welcome President Wolf. Thank you, Dr. Williard, and thank you to everyone for coming out this evening. As the president of the CCIU Board of Directors, it has been gratifying to see the impact that career and technical education, also known as CTE, has had on students throughout Chester County. Over the last 50 years, thousands of students have had the opportunity to pursue a career in technical education that has resulted in student success in both careers and post-secondary pursuits. Looking around the room this evening, it is clear to see how that success has changed lives for the better in Chester County. The impact of career and technical education has been especially apparent to me because as a member of the Avon Grove School Board, the Chester County Intermediate Unit Board of Directors and the Chester County School Board Authority, I have observed the difference it has made in the lives of students and families throughout Chester County. When every student in our county has access to educational opportunities as they have now with career and technical education, it has a ripple effect which can be felt in every part of our county and in all of our communities. Change is a constant throughout our lives and over the last 50 years, Chester County has been at the forefront of innovative changes to how we approach career and technical education. An example of this innovativeness and one which is particularly close to my heart is the creation of the Technical College High School model at TCHS Penix Bridge Campus in 2008. Prior to 2008, there had never been a career in technical school in the southern part of the county. Under the leadership of Dr. John Bailey and Dr. Joseph O'Brien and the Chester County Intermediate U Unit Board, the CCIU made the commitment to build a career in technical school that would serve all five school districts in the southern part of the county. This decision represented our commitment to providing educational opportunities to all our students throughout our county. In addition to bringing career and technical education to the southern part of the county, TCHS Penix Bridge also represented a new model for career and technical education in the state of Pennsylvania. The school featured three distinct yet interrelated educational programs. Traditional high school career and technical programs, traditional college courses through Delaware County Community College, and new dual enrollment courses that blended high school and for credit college courses. TCHS was the first career and technical center in the state to implement such an integrated approach to education. All three TCHS campuses have been leaders in helping to set an example for the rest of the state and country for how career and technical education is helping prepare students for the 21st century economy and beyond. 
As with many things at the CCIU, we are proud to be at the forefront of educational innovation. Since the Operating Advisory Committee voted to create the Central Chester County Technical School in 1966, nearly 15,000 students have been able to pursue a career in technical education, which has bolstered, sustained, and contributed towards the economic growth of Chester County. This legacy is one that both inspires us and pushes us to continue to be a leader in career and technical education. We have built over 50 years of incredible success, and I am confident that the next 50 years will be even brighter. In the last 50 years, buildings have changed, teachers and administrators have changed, curricula has changed, but our commitment to serving every student throughout Chester County and beyond has not. This evening, I would like to recognize several groups of people who continue to work hard in order to make a top-notch career and technical education available to all of our students in Chester County. I especially want to thank the staff members of the CCIU, TCHS, and all the 12 Chester County School Districts who work hard in order to provide these kinds of opportunities for our students. The success of TCHS relies on our continued partnership in order to continue to provide the best opportunities possible to all of our students. Thank you to my fellow board members and Chester County School Board Authority members for their tireless efforts on behalf of our students. I also want to thank our parents for supporting our work and for being active and engaged partners in their child's education. Lastly, a big thank you to our students for their hard work and preparing for their future and sharing their journey with us. It continues to be a privilege to witness all of the amazing things you do. And as a side, I love the food you guys prepared for us tonight. Thank you very much. Career and technical education in Chester County is a true partnership, and I'm honored to be a part of it. Thank you all, and enjoy your evening. Thank you, President Wolf, for all the hard work that you, the IU Board, and all 12 Chester County School Boards do to ensure that all students have access to an outstanding career and technical education. In addition to the CCIU Board of Directors and the CCIU Leadership Team, the Chester County School Authority plays a very important role in supporting career and technical education within the county. At this time, I would like to introduce Mr. Leon Spencer, Chair of the Chester County School Authority, who will be offering his insight into the role the authority plays in supporting and sustaining career and technical edu education. Please welcome Mr. Leon Spencer. Thank you, Dr. Willard. It is indeed a privilege to be here today and represent the Chester County School Authority. It's a little known fact that intermediate units by law cannot own school buildings. They can operate them, but they cannot own them. So when we talk about CCIU schools such as the Child and Career Development Center, the CCIU Learning Center, or the Chester County Technical High School, Technical College High School, we are really talking about schools that are owned jointly by all 12 Chester County School Districts. And that is where the Chester County School Authority comes into play. The authority is made up of representatives of the 12 school districts that have the ability to acquire the land and build and own schools that in turn the IU operates to provide countywide programs. And in so doing, we provide educational opportunities for our students that a single school district would not be able to provide. By working together, by sharing costs, and by sharing expertise, we are able to ensure that all of our students get the education they deserve and, more importantly, that they need to be successful in school and in life. Because we are charged with creating countywide programs and facilities, we often have to put aside our own local needs and look at the county as a whole. And what best serves all the students in the county, not just those in our districts. I'm proud to say that the men and women that I work with on the school authority, time and time again, are able to blend their local needs with the needs of the students of the county at large and do what is best for all of our students. It's hard work and long hours, but when we see the results of our efforts, it's all worth it. By combining our resources and setting aside our individual interests, 
we have been able to create state-of-the-art career and technical education facilities that our schools would not have been able to replicate on their own. This campus and its sister campuses in central and southern Chester County are physical manifestations of the spirit of cooperation of our communities to come together for the betterment of our children. This is truly an instance where the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. In keeping with the Pennsylvania Department of Education's high priority occupations for workforce development, over 2,200 students who attend TCH schools are able to choose from 29 career and technical programs, ranging from allied health to banking and financial services to robotics and mechatronics. Our students are learning the skills necessary to prepare them for their future, and I am very proud to play a role in their educational journey. As I said when I began, it's a privilege to represent the Chester County School Authority this evening, and now it's an honor to introduce the men and women who have worked so hard to help make today possible. If the members of the Chester County School Authority who are here tonight could please wave and be recognized. Thank you all. I would also like to take this moment to thank the staff of the Chester County Intermediate Unit, especially CCIU Executive Director Dr. George Fiore and the CCIU's Director of Career, Technical, and Customized Education, Dr. Kirk Williard. And I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the contribution of retired CCIU Executive Directors, Dr. Joe O'Brien and Dr. John Bailey as well as the retired Director of Career, Technical, and Customized Education, Dr. Alan Slobogin. We're also pleased tonight to have former principals Richard Saylor, Ronald Husband, and Paul Kowalski with us this evening. For generations, these men have created outstanding career and technical education programs through their vision and leadership. Thanks to them, we are able to provide Chester County students with the skills and knowledge to compete and succeed beyond the next 50 years. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Spencer, for the work that you and the entire Chester County School Authority does on behalf of career and technical education in the county. Our publicly elected officials also play an important role in education, and we are extremely fortunate to have legislators who work in tandem with us to help students become career ready through a career in technical education. At this time, I would like to introduce Senator Andy Dineman, who will present a citation in honor of this momentous occasion. Please welcome Senator Dineman. Well, good evening. Both myself and the citation are soaking wet, uh, but that's okay. Uh, that's, uh, you take what you get, right, with the weather. Uh, but on a more important note, uh, 50 years of career education is indeed important, and we should celebrate it. Uh, Chester County, I'm proud to say, has probably the best career and technical education program in the Commonwealth, and we should be celebrating that as well. And I'm here to tell you that, uh, that your time has come and there's no question about it. This last year, I had the privilege of being one of five Pennsylvanians who were Woodrow Wilson scholars or fellows. And our task was to study the future of education. And there's no question uh, that the institution of the high school is going to vastly change. Uh, and career and technical education are going to come up front. You can see that just in the fact that instruction will be hybrid, both visual and, uh, and in physical space. The fact that uh, education will be more experiential, take place at the workplace itself, and that um, dual enrollment, and this you were the first in the Commonwealth to do the college high school, which is now a model not only here in the Commonwealth, but nationally as well.
But when you look at the statistics and the job needs, it is clear, abundantly clear, that what is needed is the middle skills, which is exactly what you teach. You see here in Pennsylvania, in terms of BA degrees, what we'll need in the next uh, 10 years from now, we're one or two points above what is needed. In terms of, uh, those are higher skills. In terms of the doctorates and masters, the people who actually design the products uh, and the services, uh, we're actually three points ahead of what we'll need. But when it comes to middle skills, we are only 12% and we need 40%. That's where we're missing, and that is where the education in this Commonwealth needs to go. And I can tell you that as minority chair of the Senate Education Committee, that's exactly the direction that we will be going. What I'm also here to tell you is that we recently formed the Higher Education uh, Finance uh, uh, Commission. We, we can't uh, support everything, so we now have to make our priorities. And with that simple statistic, that it is the middle skills. Who, what do we mean by the middle skills? This is the individual who has the ability to do, know technology, to use it. Uh, the individual who has some digital knowledge. The individual who has at least a basic knowledge of the liberal arts and the ability to solve the problem that's in front of them. And it is the individual who we prepare to have agility, the ability to, to endure in an, in, an, in an economy of constant change. That's what education needs to be, and that's exactly what career education is providing. And finally, let me say in relationship to all this, you will see in the months ahead and in the next several years, a new and renewed focus in this Commonwealth on career education. Because what we face, and what I learned over the summer, there were five individuals chosen from four states. And by the way, in some of these states, community college in Tennessee is now free, supported by the corporations who say it's far better that community college does it and the technical school does it because of the dual type of enrollment than we do it ourselves. So they don't object, but they are willing to take that tax burden on. And hopefully that will be the same here in Pennsylvania. So what we see is this. We have a choice. You're going to have the cliff in the next 10 years. If we don't prepare this 40% with middle skills, this Commonwealth will go over the cliff and we will be consigned to be a second or third rate economy. We have to, you know, and it's much easier not to go over the cliff than to try to climb back up, isn't it? So therefore, I'm here to congratulate you on 50 years and tell you your time has come. Here in Phoenixville, as where we said, that phoenix of career and technical education is rising. It is absolutely necessary for the economy of this commonwealth and of this community, and you're the soldiers. You're the force, the vanguard, who's on the beach, uh, and you will be joined by many others and increase their support, at least if I have a say in it. And, uh, and so congratulations on 50 years. Your time has come, there's no question about it, and the next 50 years are gonna even be better than the first 50. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Dinneman, for always being a staunch advocate for public education and for sharing your time and comments with us this evening. Next, I would like to invite Representative Melissa Schusterman to the podium to say a few words. I'm tall. Um, I just want to say congratulations. 50 years really represents Gosh, 86,000 students and 6,000 educators. That's an immense impact on Chester County. And I echo what the senator said. 
your time has come. I've been in office for nine months as your uh, state rep of the 157th, and the majority of my meetings are all around workforce development. I actually had one this morning, and I want to let the um, administrators and the students and teachers know that I've been talking behind your back, <laughs> and I've been talking a lot. And I've been just letting them know those careers of tomorrow are being built here today. And we have that workforce and that we are, you know, are going to continue to collaborate and help them because they're in a conundrum. They want you now. And they especially want those who made that delicious dessert that I tried to avoid. <laughs> no, but let me just point out a few majors from... Um, digital media, and that's my background, to um, auto technology. And I have to point this out because I tried to change the tire in my car, and they say, no, 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 don't touch that. Um, sustainable engineering, um, sustainable energy engineering and data science. So right now, just like what the senator said is, we've created it. And we're growing. Anyone who lives in this area realizes there's more and more businesses coming here. And I'm meeting with businesses that are international, national, and local. And they are asking for this workforce. So when I hear about that amount of students going through uh, 86,000 and over 2,000 um, this year, 2,200, you said? I think we're only going to continue to grow. So I just want to say, in honor of your exceptional service, I would like to present the unit with an official citation from the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. Let's all give them a round of applause. Thank you, Representative Schusterman. Next, I would like to introduce Deputy County Administrator Kara Ron, who will present a citation on behalf of the Chester County Commissioners. Thank you. Thank you for having us this evening. Congratulations. A lot of our comments were um, already offered, so I'll just add a little personal story. Um, in my role at the county, I have the pleasure of working with some of your staff here from the intermediate unit. You may not know, but we have a few dozen uh, intermediate unit students that actually work full or part-time at the county every day. So when you come to the county to file something in court, or if you need to pay your taxes, <laughs> or if you need to do a voter registration or check out our archive department, you may actually be being serviced by one of the students that are coming through the Discover or the Transitional Work Program. And it's been a pleasure. We're learning, I think, more from the students than, than we might be teaching them. So it's, it's been amazing. Thank you. So on behalf of Commissioner Kickline, Commissioner Farrell, and Commissioner Cazone, I am here to present a official citation to the Chester County Intermediate Unit for 50 years of career and technical education as a first dual enrollment career and technical school in the history of the Commonwealth. Congratulations again. Thank you very much, Deputy Ron. In the audience tonight, I would also like to recognize Amber Little-Turner, who is here tonight representing Senator Patrick Toomey. Okay. And Alex Christie, who is here representing Senator Timothy Kearney. And I would also like to thank, we have several of our superintendents from Chester County here this evening, if they could raise their hands and be recognized as well. We appreciate that support. Thank you all for being here. And I, at this time, I think it's fitting that our last two speakers are recipients of career and technical education in Chester County. Our first speaker is Chuck DeLabio, a graduate of the Northern Chester County Technical 
School from the class of 1985 and a recipient of the Student of the Year Award in that same year. Mr. DeLabio is a, currently the facilities manager at Sikorsky Aircraft, a Lockheed Martin company in Coatesville, and is also a TCHS Hall of Fame member. Please welcome Mr. DeLabio. Hello, everyone. Uh, <clears throat> thank you very much. I was thrilled when uh, AJ asked me to come and, and spend a, a few minutes talking about you know, what the Northern Chester County Technical School uh, did for me. Uh, actually, the first thing I did is I went home and I found my old uh, 1985 jacket that I used to wear. Um, it's still at home in the closet. Uh, it just it didn't quite, uh, I tried it though. Um, uh, so I, I, you know, I was here from 1981 to 85. Uh, I came from the Great Valley School District uh, and I was uh, belonged to, uh, so back then uh, it, was, it was a difficult decision. Uh, all my friends went to the Great Valley High School and I chose the path. I was interested in electronics. Uh, my parents were behind me 100% in the decision to come to the, you know, what we called the Votech. And um, so I had four years of electronics uh, study here under uh, our teacher, Mr. Lair, uh, who unfortunately is no longer with us. Uh, <clears throat> I, I left here, and I don't know if you still have co-op jobs anymore, stood for cooperative education. Uh, so I qualified for that uh, and went out, worked for an electronics company for about two years. Uh, and left that company to join uh, a small helicopter outfit. Uh, was interested in aviation and did a multitude of tasks there. Uh, that company was later purchased by Sikorsky Aircraft, uh, who was later purchased by Lockheed Martin Corporation. So summing that all up, uh, I've been there 32 years now and I'm on the senior management team for the organization. Uh, so even though my, uh, my career path changed, and I still hobby with electronics, I have my soldering iron, I dust off and I work on things for the family. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm now at this corporation and um, what I do benefit from every day is the, the guidance and the direction, uh, the discipline, uh, the, uh, you know, from, from the teachers, uh, Mr. Maddie's down there, uh, but other teachers, if you remember, Mr. Gaynor, Mr. White, uh, Mr. Feely, Mr. DiPrinzio, uh, you know, the, the interaction, the respect uh, that the teachers had for the students, uh, the respect that the students in turn had for the teacher, these weren't just, you know, uh, teacher-student relationships, they became friendships, and when you, you had those friendships, uh, you could be honest, you could talk to your teachers, ask questions about your future, uh, they, were, they would help you, uh, and, and you, you trusted what they, they, you know, they were like a parent, you trusted them, uh, and so those, those conversations, uh, and again, not doing electronics now, but, uh, but those conversations, uh, I do pull from that wisdom on a daily basis when making business decisions, you know, for Lockheed Martin Corporation. Uh, you know, so whether it's called the Northern Chester County Technical School, the Cat Pickering Campus, uh, the Technical, or TCHS, uh, you know, the, the thousands of people that, uh, you know, walked these halls uh, and benefited from uh, the experience here, uh, myself being one, uh, is nothing in comparison to the thousands more that will walk through. Uh, and uh, I'm very excited for them. My, you know, uh, you know, I, I, I'm not ready for retirement yet. Uh, I'm not that old, but uh, but I've got I've got uh, less ahead of me than behind me. Uh, and it wouldn't have been what it was without uh, attending the school and the relationships that I built with friends. Uh, teachers that, uh, you know, that, that made me uh, who I am today. So thank you, Mr. Matty. Uh, thank you to everyone. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm sitting next to a young lady that's got every, her, her whole career ahead of her. And I know she's going to do terrific because of, uh, you know, she, she's in the right building to make that happen. So thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. DeLobby, for your, your reflection and being an excellent example of how career and technical education can have a positive impact on the lives of our students and the community at large. Our final speaker tonight, as Mr. DeLobby indicated, is a, a student here at the Pickering campus, Ms. Winter Patterson Tart, an incredible young woman who is pursuing a career in technical education. Winter is currently a senior at TCHS Pickering in the Carpentry program and will be sharing what CTE means to her. Please welcome Winter. Hi, 
Hi, good evening. My name is Winter Patterson Tarr, and I'm a senior here in the carpentry program at TCHS Pickering. Over the course of my education, I've also been a student at Phoenixville and Owen J. Roberts School Districts. In many ways, I'm not your typical student. I don't like dressing up for events, but I can, you know, <laughs> clean up very well. <laughs> when someone tells me to, what they think I want, what they think I want, they want me to do, <laughs> I usually do the opposite. So it maybe makes me like a kind of typical student, but it's fine. As I stand here for, before you guys all this evening, I realize the national st statistics would say that I'm not your typical carpentry student. I'm a young woman of color in a largely male-dominated field. And I am part of a new generation of career and technical students who are turning the word typical on its head. I'm an honorable student. <laughs> Thank you. I'm an honorable student, and I'm really good at my carpentry program. I have a future roadmap to what I would like to go in my career. These characteristics are not unusual here at TCHS Pickering, but rather like which we see every day in our programs. These characteristics, which include hard work, determination, and passion, connect us all career and technical students regardless of time, location, Rage, age, race, gender, or ability. This family-like atmosphere has made my time here at TCHS Pickering extremely rewarding. Through career and technical education, I have received a second family that supports, encourages, and pushes me to be the best version of myself. While at TCHS Pickering, I have always been able to be myself and my teachers, counselors, administrators, and classmates has, have always accepted me for who I am. They have respected me for my ability to be a great student here and carpenter. By choosing to pursue a career in technical education, I've never experienced the regret or wonder of what if about my future because I'm choosing my passion now. A question that I often hear adults ask, how do we help our students figure out what they want to be when they grow up? For me, I knew that quest the answer to that question at a pretty young age. I was in ninth grade helping my mom <laughs> and um, at home renovation, home renovation projects. And at that moment, I knew exactly what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. I wanted to be an architect and have my own business. Being here now has helped me is helping me make my dreams come true. And I believe that we all must follow our own dreams. Choosing a career is not about what other people think you should do, but rather it's about figuring out your own path. You can't do something just because your family or other people tell you you should do it because it would just lead to future regret. I can say that I never regretted my decision to come here. I came to TCHS looking for to turn my passion into a career. In addition to the, accomplishing this goal, I have found a second family, a place I can truly call home. As we gather here this evening to celebrate 50 years of CTE in Chester County, I'd like to take a moment to think, think about the next 50 years and how it should look like. I hope in the next 50 years, there will be more people like me in my field. Mm -hmm. I hope in the next 50 years that there will be more opportunities for, these, for students to have access to explore this kind of education. I hope in the next 50 years, our career and technical family will continue to grow. So the future generations of my family will have the opportunity to follow their dreams at TCHS. In the next 50 years, I hope that more students will get to say, I know what I want to do when I grow up.
by taking advantage of a career in technical education. Because of these people who were here 50 years ago, I am now proud and I'm proud to be able to be a TCHS student. I hope this because the 50, 50 years of CTE in Chester County has led to TCHS, which is changing my life for the better. I would like to thank President Wolf the T and the entire CCIU Board of Directors, the Chester County School Authority, Dr. Fury, Dr. Williard, Dr. Fuller Mr. Fullerton, Mrs. Petters, my instructor, Mr. Bland, my awesome school counselor, Mrs. Scott, my wonderful mother, my family, and all the people that helped and supported me by making my dreams a reality. Because, of, because by committing to TCHS, you are demonstrating a commitment to the future. And if by me speaking to you tonight has any indication, it looks pretty bright, if I say so myself. <laughs> Have a nice night. Great job, Amber, or Whitney, thank you very much. And, and let's, let's give Winter another round of applause for her great words. We wish you continued success in the program and all the best in your future endeavors. And sounds like you're gonna be out there in a construction field, so thank you very much. Before we conclude this evening, there are several groups of students that I would like to recognize who have made this evening possible and would not have been possible without their support and assistance. When I acknowledge your group, if we could please have the students raise their hands and be recognized, I believe they are still here. Our culinary, baking, and pastry art students who did a phenomenal job preparing hors d'oeuvres, desserts, and mocktails this evening. The criminal justice and police science students who assisted with parking and security. And we have TCHS ambassadors here this evening who will be your tour guides for the evening. And I do still see some wonderful red jackets of our TCHS Skills USA students. They're here representing the National Association for Middle and High School Students who are preparing for careers in trade, technical, and skills service occupations. So thank you very much. So thank you very much, students. You are clearly the reason why I do what I do every day. This is my 30th year in public education, and I am proud to be your director and excited for your future and success. Obviously, we've heard from many guests this evening about the future of career and technical education and what it's doing for our young folks, and we certainly want to continue that path. And I agree with Whitner, 50 years from now, we need more students in career and technical education. So thank you. So this concludes our ceremony tonight. On behalf of the Chester County Intermediate Unit, it's been a memorable 50th anniversary celebration, and we would like to thank all of you for celebrating with us. At this time, we would like to ask our current, former, and staff to gather at the stairs behind me for a group photo, and then immediately following that group photo, anyone who would like a tour of the building should please head to the gymnasium right down the hallway and we'll be able to have our TCHS ambassadors guide you through the building and tell you about all the changes that have occurred within the recent renovation. Thank you again, everyone, and please drive safely this evening. <laughs>